theme of this show is showing the cultural differences from what it is that I'm experiencing over here in Japan to what it is that I'm used to hearing and seeing over in the United States of America and Western culture, right? And we are truly going to shit. I don't care what they keep selling you. I don't care if they keep telling you that everything is awesome. It's not true. Remember the guy that walked into 7-Eleven and he got whooped on by the owners of the store? Y'all remember that? I actually did a live stream on it. I showed it. Uh, they had to. They made me make my live stream 18 and over plus, but it's okay. Some things you don't have to necessarily make money from, uh, but it's important for us to have a conversation about. Shout out to Aaron. I'm going to be reading that super chat shortly. Remember the 7-Eleven guy that walked in and he got whooped on because people were sick and tired of him just walking in and them being defenseless in order to be able to protect their stuff. Because they keep telling us that these worthless people and human life is more important than you defending your liberties and your stuff of what it is that you got going on, right? And so now uh, that guy is in court and the experts are saying that it's a possibility that he can sue the people that he uh, defended himself from. But he didn't get that from himself. He didn't just come up with the idea that he could just walk in a 7-Eleven and do that. That wasn't his idea. He's not that smart. He has tattoos on, fa on his face. Most people, not all, 99% of the population that got tattoos all over their face, I wouldn't necessarily label them as smart. They may have some talent. They may have some insight. But I'm not necessarily labeling them as smart, right? But here's the thing. Where did he get that from? And why are we just now hearing about it here on the Millionaire Morning Show and all throughout the United States? Well, let me give you a little bit of an insight of what's going, over, going on over in Oakland, California. Fox 2. They have a garbage bag and they're stealing everything. New at 10, new surveillance video shows thieves helping themselves at Oakland convenience stores and... Look at the woman. She just standing there. Now, she not doing nothing wrong. And this scene looks very much like the scene where the guy walked in with a garbage can and he got whooped on, except the difference is that it's two of them. They're younger. They're more brawny. And they're doing it in broad daylight here. They're doing it in broad daylight. They're walking in. I remember when I, when I was coming up, we always had the understanding that whoever was behind the, at least that was the illusion, is that whoever was behind the counter had that oop shebang back there. When I was coming up, I was always under the impression that whoever was behind the counter had the oop shebang back there. And you are not going to walk over the counter. You're not going to hop over it. You're not going to just come in because it's a strong possibility you're going to get that oop shebang on you. And even in the hood, remember in the hood, see, these 7-Elevens are built differently. You know what the biggest, you know what one of the biggest convenience stores here in Japan is? 7-Eleven. One of the biggest stores. When I was talking to people that's, that had visited Japan or was over here or looking at the different videos and seeing the different things that I needed to go to, you know what one of the things that they said that I had to visit over here? 7-Eleven. I mean, it is awesome. Don't worry. I got a whole video about all of the different things that I did on a day-to-day -day basis. It's probably going to be an hour, hour and a half released on the other channel. But they said that I had to visit 7-Eleven because 7-Eleven here is loved. It's awesome. It's a great place to be. But 7-Eleven over in Oakland, California is now a hotbed for and an opportunity because criminals have been empowered it's now an opportunity for people to take advantage of those that's less fortunate or those that invested in the community. So what you see here is, you know, a woman standing there, black woman, looking like a deer at headlights. And the dudes is just behind the counter, just taking everything that they want. And they have no fear whatsoever. Tonight, 7-Eleven owners say they are fed up. Look at this. Angry, upset, stress. And we have to deal with this every single day now. And good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebach. And I'm Julie Hainer. Owners of several 7-Eleven stores in Oakland say they are being targeted by thieves and that the problem is escalating. And they've actually counted at least six incidents around the city since the beginning of this month. New at 10, KTVU's Amber Lee, live in Oakland. And Amber, the store owners say they believe the same group here is responsible for these crimes. 
That's right, Mike. The owners tell me they're frustrated. They say in each incident, a group of young men in their 20s enter the store with garbage bags and they fill the bags with items they grabbed off the shelves. Have y'all noticed that the new weapon of choice is a garbage bag out, out in California? The new weapon, somebody said, Dolly Washa, Dolly Washa said, how can they do that? Because they're protected by the state. The same way that criminals are protecting women as far as those that open their legs and then depend on the taxpayers in order to be able to raise their children that then turn out to be a part of the prison industrial complex and making our license plates is the same politicians that's protecting these criminals. And the new weapon is not a gun. The new weapon is a garbage bag. Everybody that broke into the Nike store, everybody that walked into a 7-Eleven, Everybody that walked into Nordstrom's, everybody that walked into Louis Vuitton, Gucci, so on and so forth, the new weapon of choice as far as to stick people up and hold people up is a garbage bag. That is our new norm. Loud and brazen. Surveillance video shows thieves breaking into the 7 -11. And they walking. He just, just did the Jenga. He kicked in the window, did the Jenga under the door, and they're walking and chilling. And he going back to go and tap into his homeboy. Hey, fam, it's cool. Don't worry about it. We know ain't no cops coming. We chill. We ain't even clocked the times or none of that shit. We just going to go in here and do whatever it is that we want to do when we want to do it. 11 on Harrison in downtown Come on, fam, come on. He's Monday coming in morning there. around 4. They proceed to steal cigarettes and tobacco products off shelves. They try to remove a safe that's bolted down but failed. They happen every week, so sometimes this store, sometimes the other store. Another camera captures the suspects and the cars they arrived in. These are all of the, the incidents happening at this store. Owner Parminder Dingra shows me the dozens of incident reports. That man got a, a handful of incident reports in his hand and said, listen, my hands is tied. There's nothing I can do about it. My hands are tied. There's nothing I can do about it. Y'all not going to be satisfied. Nobody cares. Nobody is holding their people accountable. No, no leader is coming to the forefront of the congregation and saying, hey, we need to do differently within our communities. You know what they doing? They letting it get so bad. Somebody going to get their muffin top peeled back. It's going to get to the point where somebody is going to get their muffin top peeled back and it's going to come to a head. And then that's when you'll see something happen. And I'm not sure that what you'll see happen is something positive. You're going to see outrage. They're going to tell you that that life is more important than these incident reports that he got in his hand and defending his business. And people can just walk in and take your shit. You put blood, sweat, tears. You still owe loan payments on that business and financing it. People don't have no clue of what it takes in order to really actually be able to put something together and open up a business. Inventory is gone. You don't even know what the fuck is going on. Police won't help you. Legislators ain't got your back. It's going to come to a head. It's going to come to a head where you're going to get so frustrated that somebody going to get their muffin top peel back and it's not going to be pretty. He's filed with police for each time his store has. Somebody been said find a better location. It's that simple. What the fuck you think this is? What do you think that this is a car? You think they just pick up and move? Man, listen. They got leases. They built on their land. They they put their inventory in there. They got equipment. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Find a better location. No. Stop fucking robbing stores. It's not the business owner's fault for the location. It's the person's. It's this is why I'm in Japan. This is why I'm in Japan. I ain't had to deal with this shit. Find a better location. Nigga, you'll find a better location. Find a job. How about that? Don't tell us to find a better location. You find a fucking job. It's easier for you to find a job and not rob me than me to find a better location and try to prevent myself from getting robbed. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Find a better location. It's that simple. Jesus Christ.
robbed or burglarized in the past year. We still have four, nothing been happened, you know, nobody got caught. Dingra also heads the Greater Bay Area 7-Eleven Franchise Owners Association. He says since the beginning of August, there have been six robberies or burglaries at 7-Eleven stores so far in various parts of Oakland. On Thursday, police say six people Look arrived in three vehicles at a store on 23rd Avenue. One person rammed a car into the front window and door of the store, stole items, and fled. You know what the funniest part about that is? Check this out. They did more damage financially ramming in the store than what it is that they took. It's nothing, not one thing inside of 7-Eleven that you can take that will be worth ramming in the front door of the store. If you are a respectable person, because it's it's now affecting everybody. If you are a respectable person, fuck the cars, fuck the clothes, invest your money, stack your bread, lower your expenses, limit what it is that you do, become a minimalist. That way it's easier for you to pick up and move and relocate. For all of the people that's criminal, now that ain't for everybody. For the people that's criminals and continuing to perpetuate this nonsense, I think y'all all deserve each other. Y'all all deserve to be here. But for the criminals, I mean, for the people that actually are respectable people, gird up. Gird up. Get your family together. Lower your expenses. Become a minimalist. Become less detached with what's going on here in the United States of America. And do your research. Start to travel different places. Start to understand different cultures. Figure out what makes sense for where it is that you want to live and what you can and can't do without as far as what you're used to in the United States versus what it is that your expectations are outside of the United States. Oh, don't worry about my papa and mama. They live their life. They live their life. Y'all need to be there. And I'm not going to see. Somebody said pass more bros. We winning. Don't go for the hoes. Go because you want a better life and then everything else comes along with it. We're tired of this. Like, we're here to do a business. We're here to serve the community. We're here to work, serve, and feed our families. Ravi Kakar tells me his store on MacArthur was robbed twice in three days this month. He and other owners say they believe it's the same people hitting the different stores. They wear face coverings, and they work in groups of four to six carrying garbage bags. They're stealing. Garbage bags is the new, is the new flex. Garbage bags is if you walking around with a garbage, if you see somebody with a garbage bag inside of their pocket, you know he ain't up to no good. If he's stopping through to say what up, but he got a garbage bag in his pocket, call the police. Let, let me say it again. If you if your homie or your friend or your nephew or somebody stopped by your crib and you see that that little elastic band and a plastic garbage bag in his back pocket, call the police on that little homie. He needs to go to jail. Don't pass go. Don't collect $200. If he got a garbage bag in his back pocket, call the police immediately that he is a thief. All thieves should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, taking stuff that's not theirs that they did not work for. If he has a garbage bag in his back pocket, call the police. All the cigarette and tobacco product. Uh, if you see somebody go into Home Depot and they get the larger garbage bags, profile them and then call. The, put an Apple Air tag in their back pocket and call the police. If you see somebody that is in a grocery store and they're over, they over buying on grocery on garbage bags, and you know that they look a little dusty, dusty, but they're not really over there to clean up and they don't have no. Call the police, yo. We need to put trackers on garbage bags now because that's the best way for us to be able to find the criminals. Uh, the jewel, everything. This cashier says he was robbed while working at the store on International Boulevard just before 8 last Wednesday night. I'm so scared. Yeah, I'm like not feel good. I don't feel like coming, coming or going back to work. But I have to, to just to feed my family. The store owners are demanding that city leaders take a strong stance against crime and to do something to help small businesses. Please. Look, we, this is so normal that the black woman that's in the back, she's not even flinching. Look.
It's not even a thing. Look at her. It's not a thing. She not even tripping. It's not a thing. She not even flinching. The people still shopping in the back like, well, I guess after they get done taking everything from behind there, we just going to come up and pay for our stuff. They not even flinching. It's not even a thing. It's not even not even tripping. It's a person walking in the back. Check this out. Look at the guy walking in the back. Have a garbage bag and they're stealing everything. There were 10 new He's still shopping like normal. Thieves. The guy in the back is still walking around like normal. The guy, in the, the woman in the front still got her drink right there. And the thieves is in the back just taking everything. What in the, what in the world? Where do we live? Is this Brazil? Is this Mexico? Where do we live at now?